Lesson 43, part one is about ratios, 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 whoa. Um, and I know that looks like it says ratios, but it's actually pronounced ratios. It sounds like a cereal, sort of, I guess. I'll have a bowl of ratios. Um, go ahead and write the title down into your notes and push play when you're ready to begin. Okay, well, ratios are a comparison of uh, one thing to another. They are written in three different ways. And I'm going to show you three different ways in just a second. But first, make sure you copy that down into your notes. So if you were talking about ratios, we, um, we could use our classroom as an example. And you've probably heard me say this before. I've said it a couple times to you guys that our classroom is a classroom that has a one-to-one ratio when I'm talking about uh, iPads for students. So we have one iPad for one student in the classroom at one time. And so as we're going to use that as an example of a ratio, here are the three, that's a one there in case you're wondering. Um, let me make that look like that. Okay, so one way you can write a ratio is one to one. That's a one to one ratio. One iPad for every one student. Another way you might see it written is just the words straight out. One, two, one. And finally some people write it as a fraction. One, two, one. So ratios can be demonstrated any of those ways. They can be written any of those ways. One to one. They all mean the same thing. This means one-to-one -one ratio, one-to-one -one ratio, one-to-one -one ratio. Okay? Um, and in reality, if we're talking about ratios to students, most of those iPads, because you know three, student, uh, three groups of students cycle through my class in the day, and you know that somebody else is assigned that same iPad, really, I guess, for the whole sixth grade, we are one iPad for every three students, or a one-to-three ratio. Or it can be written one, two, three. Or it can be written one, two, three ratio. Looks like one third, same thing. So uh, one to three ratio is um, really what our iPads are at the sixth grade because you do share that iPad with three other people. Um, I play a game called Clash of Clans and, and you can donate um, troops to your teammates. And I always talk about making sure your donation ratio is a good ratio. What I mean by that is make sure that it, you are, um, if you are asking for people to donate troops to you, that you're also donating to them. So you don't have, I, if I see somebody who has zero donations to um, 30 received, where we've given them 30 but they've given us none, then I get irritated. So um, zero to 30 ratio, if that's donated, that they've given and that's received that they've taken, then that's not a good ratio. So ratios are in all kinds of parts of our world. And so we're just going to give a little bit of focus of um, how we handle ratios today. So the first thing we need to, to know about um, ratios is that we need to go in the right order. So you can want to write this at the top. Go in correct order. And then the last thing, reduce if you need to. Or if you can, I should say. And really, that's all there is to this. So once you see this done, you're going to go, oh, that's so easy. Okay. So this says the bowl of candy has 12 Starbursts, three Skittles, and five Smarties. What is the ratio of Smarties to Skittles? So the order, the go in the correct order means the order is Smarties first, Skittles second, because that's the way the word, the question asked us. That's the order they want it. So we look at Smarties. Smarties is here. There's five of them. So you write five. And then I can write it that way, or I can write it this way. We'll do it all three ways in your notes. Or you can write it um, as a fraction. Okay. And I'm looking for the... Um, ratio of Smarties to Skittles, and Skittles is three. So I go ahead and I write 
three over here, three over here, or three over here. And I know right now, now most of your brain is looking at this and going, oh no, that's an improper fraction. It's upside down snowman. We have to fix it. And I, good, I've trained your brain that way. That's what I want you thinking. But with ratios, we are, we'll allow it. We're just going to allow it for right now. So when we're talking ratios, fine, leave them be. He's improper, leave them that way. Okay, so five to three ratio. Reduce it if you can. Well, remember how to reduce fractions? If there's a number other than one that divides evenly into both of those, then divide it in um, and get those down to the lowest um, that you can. In this case, there isn't. So um, that would be the answer. That's it. It's a five to three ratio of Smarties to Skittles. I know it seems way too easy, doesn't it? Let's look at another one. Okay. Our next example is what is the ratio of Starburst to Skittles? And you'll notice I rearranged this, move these up here. You've already written them in your notes. I was just running out of room, so you don't have to erase or rewrite the way you had it. It's fine. Just write this part underneath. What is the ratio of Starburst to Skittles? So again, go in the correct order. We've got Starburst is 12, so we'll put 12 2, and we're going to write it all three ways just so that our brains can let that sink in. And we're doing Starburst 2 Skittles. Skittles were 3. And 3. Okay, again, I'm sure your brain is looking at this going, oh, upside down snowman. It's okay. We'll let him stay that way. Um, but reduce if you can. So this could be would be the answer, except that you must reduce if you can. And in this case, there is a number that does divide evenly into both 12 and 3. It would be 3. How many times does 3 divide into 12? Four times. And how many times does 3 divide into 3? One time. So what you're going to have is a, oh, not 12, goodness, a 4 to 1 ratio. That's a 4. 4 to 1 ratio. 4 to 1 ratio. That's the ratio of Starburst to Skittles. So you do have to reduce it if it is reducible is how a ratio works. So really those are, those are the rules. Go in the correct order and reduce if you can. And it really is that easy. I'm going to throw one more we do at you that kind of twists it a little but it's so easy still I think you'll get it just fine okay and this is still the same question as before so don't rewrite that you already have that written down um this is the last we do what is the ratio of skittles to all candy in the bowl so sometimes you'll see ratio questions have something like this so um it's a ratio of something to compared with everything that's available so um, we go in the right order. They want Skittles first, and there's three Skittles. So we would say three, two, and then we'll go three, two. We're just going to write it all three ways. Brainwashing, you know. And then it's three to all candy in the bowl. So all you have to do is look at how much candy's in the bowl. I've got 12, three, and five. So you just take that over here and add them up. How much candy is all in that bowl? 12 plus 3 plus 5. That's 8, 9, 10, and 2 is 20. So there's a total of, notice I included the Skittles, 12, 3, and 5, because um, they are candy in the bowl as well. So there's a total of 20 candies in the bowl. So all candies in the bowl is 20. 3 to 20 ratio, 3 to 20 ratio, 3 to 20 ratio. And then check to see if it's uh, something that can be reduced. 3 does not go into 20 evenly, so nothing goes into both of those evenly. So your answer is a 3 to 20 ratio of Starburst, I'm sorry, of Skittles to all candy in there. It's a 3 to 20 ratio. Kind of easy, huh? That's as difficult as it really gets. Pretty easy concept. Let's go ahead and try a you do. All right, so it's your turn for a you do. Go ahead and write this down. The bowl of fruit has 36 grapes, six pears, and eight apples. And there's three questions for you to do on this you do. What is the ratio of apples to pears? What is the ratio of grapes to pears? And what is the ratio of pears to all fruit? Go ahead and push pause. Look at the we do examples and see if you can um, figure out how to do these 
three questions and push play when you have an answer. All right, so you've got some answers here. Let's see how you did. Uh, what is the ratio of apples to pears? So I'm looking for apples first. There are eight of them. Eight apples. Um, I didn't specify that you had to write it all three ways, so I'll do it all three ways. Um, you already have in your notes all three ways to write it, so you, for these you could have just chosen one. Okay, so apples now to pears. Pears, there's six of them. Six, six, six. Now, that's the correct order, but I have to check and see if they're reducible. And they are, because two goes into both eight and six. So two divides into eight four times, and two divides into six three times. So really what I have here is a four to three ratio was the answer for that first one. What is the ratio of grapes to pears is the question on the next one. So we're looking at grapes. There's 36 of them. To pears, there's six of them. 36 to 6. 36 to 6 ratio. And that's the order we need it in. Now reduce it if it's, if it's able to be reduced. And it can be because um, 6 goes into both of these numbers. 6 fits into 36 exactly 6 times, and 6 fits into 6 one time. So it's a 6 to 1 ratio. 6 to 1 ratio for grapes to pears. Last question, what is the ratio of pears to all fruit? Pears were 6 again. 6, 2, and 6, 2. To all fruit, so I need to add up all the fruit. There were 36 grapes. There were 6 pears. There were 8 apples. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 8 is 20. 50. A nice round number. So it's a 6 to 50 ratio. 6 to 50 ratio and a 6 to 50 ratio. Um, that's reducible though because both of those numbers are even. Remember any number that ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 is a number that 2 can divide into evenly. So I know 2 divides into both of these. <clears throat> I just need to figure out how many times. Um, 2 fits into 6 three times. And remember, when you divide 2 into something, it cuts things in half exactly. And I know that half of 50 cents is 25 cents, so um, that's going to be 25. I can't reduce that any lower than that because 3 does not go evenly into 25. So um, it's going to be a 3 to 25 ratio. 3 to 25 and 3 to 25 ratio was the answer for the very last question. If you are understanding this okay, go ahead and get the closure question and show me that you understand it. If you're a little bit lost and you think review, rewinding and reviewing will help, go ahead and do that. And if you think that, that, if you have done that and that didn't seem to help, come see me so I can explain this to you further.